Hey guys, um, hopefully this will just be a fairly quick video, but um, yeah, I picked up a Sega uh, SG-1000. This is Sega's first ever console. Um, it was released uh, pretty much exclusively in Japan. Um, yeah, really excited to have picked this one up. Um, I did sort of talk about it a little bit in the unboxing video earlier in the week. So if you've not seen that video, then please go and check it out. I um, bought a box of loads of cool Japanese um, stuff, other games and whatnot. But yeah, pick this one up. Um, I'm going to give it a quick test. I've not, <laughs> this is like live TV. I've not, I have no idea if it'll work. But I wanted to record it. You might well see my bitter disappointment live on camera in a minute. Um, I don't know much about them. I, I think with a little bit of luck, my TV might pick up the signal. I don't know. Um, I do know that uh, it does run off the same 5 volt power um, that a master system would. Uh, and I can show you, like, there's an RF cable thing there. And you've got your, 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 your power there with a, a little switch there. Um, the controller, I've had a few people ask me this from the other video in the week, is attached. So I'll just, looks like it's been, let's see if I can untangle it. Hey, <laughs> it looks like it's been pretty well uh, <laughs> tangled up. There we go. So I'll show you that a little closer so you can get a really good look at it. So there's a controller there, and it is actually attached. You've got a button there and a button there. So they're a little bit, and then you've got your little, your little joystick there. So it's going to be a little bit finicky, a little bit fiddly, uh, if I can get it working. I've got two or three games that I can test out. Um, so, yeah. Let's give it a test. Let's see what it does. OK, guys, so as you can see, this is my um, Master System boot screen here. I've got the uh, Master System back here running on the CRT. Uh, CRT's uh, just come out of the loft, so that's fine. Um, I genuinely have no idea if uh, this is going to work, but there's the console there. Um, I've got a game ready here. <laughs> I've not tested that so hopefully you know double testing um yeah hopefully it works you have to excuse the mess um it's a kids playroom first and foremost um right okay so let's go for it so I'm going to turn the the master system off unplug the power and the RF cable See if we get anything right. Well, we've got a red light in the middle there, so that is a very good start. You can see something happening on the screen anyway. So, um, yeah, when I bought it, it was um, listed as operation unconfirmed. Here we have a copy of NSUB, never played it. Okay, guys, fingers crossed, the moment of truth. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's not working. Right, okay, so. It could be the contact on the game. Or the, uh, the console itself. See if that does anything. No. Okay, so what I will try to do, I will try to um, clean the contacts with some isopropyl solution in the uh, the console, but also uh, on the game because they're both old. Um, but it might be that the signal that's coming from this. Um, the TV can't read it, in which case 
it is not going to work. So I'll have to give it a bit more thought, perhaps go on the forums, ask a few questions. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, then uh, please let me know. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, OK, guys, um, <laughs> super quick update. So. I just um, flipped the channels a little bit. And um, it looks like. We might have something. There we go. I don't know if you can make that out too well. But it is the game. And you can see the little the, the submarine or the boat or whatever. There you go. I got one. Oh, down doesn't work too well on the controller. <laughs> but it is working. So... Obviously, it doesn't work too well with um, with this TV, but it is working. So there we are, guys. Um, yeah, took a gamble with the old Japanese auctions, and uh, and it does look like it works. Um, I'm just going to have to give it a bit of thought in terms of how I actually get it so it's playable now. Um, I'm probably going to need to... I've got loads of tellies in the house. I'm going to try all of the tellies and see what that does. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.